2007 and 2008 were the first two years of a five-year Paul Beagle research, filming and photographic expedition carried out by the Shark Conservation Society. The aims of the expedition were to achieve three firsts. To deploy the first satellite tags on Paul Beagles in British waters. To obtain the world's first good quality free swimming footage of these sharks. And lastly, to get the first good quality photos, again, of free swimming sharks. Trying to do what hasn't been done before needs both luck and imagination. Before either can play their parts, we need sharks, and that means chumming. It doesn't matter how many times I do this, the excitement when the first fin breaks the surface never diminishes. On previous occasions when I had tried to get into the water with these sharks, they disappeared. For this reason, we used a pole cam to get our first footage, and it worked. We had achieved the first of our objectives. Having got footage safely in the can, I could try again to get into the water with them. I wanted to work out how to do this, to try and give Paul Beagles a British ecotourism potential, as I had done with blue sharks. Let no one say these sharks don't have a sense of humour. As soon as I got into the water and swam out to the bait tubes, the sharks disappeared. I would wait a while, then swim back to the boat, and they would reappear. Now, after this had happened five or six times, I got the distinct impression they were laughing at me. With the footage and photos captured, we could move on to our next objective, satellite tagging Paul Beagles for the first time in our waters. We used circle hooks to avoid deep hooking and make hook removal easier. One of the prices paid for this is that hooked sharks are lost, but the welfare of the sharks makes it a price worth paying. If satellite tags are not fixed properly, they pop off early, which is a waste of time and money and means the shark has been stressed and put at risk for nothing. To get good fixes, I inboarded larger sharks than I would have done with non-electronic tagging. However, the team are all experienced and all tagged sharks were back in the water in only just over our two minute target and swam off strongly. We deployed four tags variously set to pop off after 30, 60 and 90 day periods. The yellow dot shows the tagging location and the red dots show where the tags surfaced. Scientists are analysing the results which will add to our scant knowledge of poor beagles.